and we are going to start with the first section of the CCMP anchor and we are going to talk about hierarchical land design models so a hierarchical land design model divides the enterprise network architecture into modular layers or into different um, uh, section layers and by breaking up the design into these different layers you can have each layer uh, to, impl to implement a specific functions and by having these modular layers um, uh, it can be easily replicated throughout the network which simplifies the network design and provides an easy way to scale right to make the ne to make your uh, network bigger and as well as a consistent deployment method and a hierarchical land design um, also avoids the need for a flat or fully meshed uh, network in which all the modes are interconnected with each other um, whenever you have a hierarchical land design um, you are not going to have a, a fully meshed network um, because in a fully meshed network uh, the, the, the network changes um, tend to affect a large number of systems and a hierarchical design provides fault containment by constraining the network changes to a subset of the network which affects fewer system and makes it easier to manage as well as, uh, as, well as improve resiliency right so in a fully mesh network whenever you're going to make a change to a large uh, if it, it, it tends to affect a large network uh, but if you make a change in a hierarchical design it is a lot easier and it's also going to affect fewer systems um, and also in a modular layer design uh, the network components can be placed or taken out of service with little or no impact to the rest of the network because they are divided in a modular uh, design um, and this facilitates troubleshooting problem isolation and network management because each one of those sections have um, different functionalities so if something is wrong with the routing you're going to know that it is only um, you are, are going to be you are going to be able to isolate to the core network which is the only one that uh, that is doing um, the routing outside of your network and <clears throat> the hierarchical lane design um, divides networks into three different categories um, the first one which is the access layer and this gives endpoints and user users direct access to the network um, and in this access network all your users are going to be connected with either a laptop desktop a server you can have also you know any endpoint like a camera can also be connected it's going to be connected right here in the access layer then we have the distribution layer which is the policy based connectivity this one is going to be a layer 3 switch um, and it provides an aggregation point for the access layer and acts as a services and as and access services and control boundary between the access layer and the core layer okay and then we have the core layer um, which is all the way at the end and this is a high speed switching you want to do high speed everything that is going to be in the core needs to be fast right fast and furious and it also refers to as the backbone and it provides connections um, between distribution layers for large environments and it also gives you access to the outside network so if you want to go to a network that it is outside of your private network it is going to go out to the core and <clears throat> each layer provides different functionalities and capabilities to the network the number of layers needed depends on the on the characteristics of the network deployment site and you know a small uh, a small campus uh, in a single building might require only access and distribution layers while a campus that is that spans multiple buildings will most likely require three layers um, regardless of how many layers are implemented at a at, at a geographic location the uh, the design ensures that each layer will provide the same services and the same design um, method and as you can see it is really easy to scale so if you have a small uh, network over here and if you, and if you have to scale this because 
um, you are hiring a lot of more employees uh, what you could do is you can just um, add more access layer switches as you can see right here and you can add more distribution layer as you can see right here because it is a lot it is a lot easier to um, scale um, than having a fully matched um, network.